Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. I know Bitcoin is crashing and so also all the other altcoins. It's a bad day for the crypto space. So the big question right now is should we sell everything and run away or should we take this opportunity and buy the dip? The question, in my opinion, is very easy, just buy the dip, but of course, no financial advice. So in today's video, we're going to analyze what is going on right now and what is needed right now in order to go back in an uptrend and what could be the worst case scenario if this dump that we are seeing right now during the weekend is legit or if this is going to be a fake out and we will return towards our uptrend in this next coming weeks so as you know my friends a weekend for me is always a play time i don't give too much significance so what is going on during the weekend but of course a drop of ten thousand dollars within a couple of hours in the bitcoin price is quite hard and that's why we're also gonna have to analyze uh, what is going on with this dump and uh, that's why we're gonna start in today's uh, TA from the bigger time frames on because like that the chart is uh, not uh, looking uh, that ugly like it's looking in the lower time frames and um, if you're wondering how the trading bots are doing over on Bitscap, they are actually still in profits of course I am in negative here since we bought into this trade here because uh, we dumped in Ethereum, we dumped in Bitcoin, so that's why here I am minus 10%, but the bot itself, it's still in profit. So as you can see, even though we're dumping, wherever the price is going, the bot is always trading profitable. So with the bot so far, I am very happy. And if you want to take advantage of these trading bots over on Bitscap, then make sure to take advantage of this 14 days trial for the pro plan that Bitscap is offering to our community. So 14 days you can use these trading bots completely for free. So take advantage of this. You can just connect your exchange, for example, Coinbase or Binance to this platform. And then the trading bot is trading for you on your exchange. So definitely try it out. 14 days are completely for free and afterwards you can start the basic plan starting from $19 per month to take advantage of these trading bots because if you're using them for the long term then you should get the money very easily back from these plans that Bitscap is offering to us. So and now my friends let's start with the content and let's start here with the CME chart because here everything is still okay here we closed on Friday at 62k and as I told you most of the times we are retracing back to where the CME is closed on Friday so let's wait and see what will happen as soon as the CMEs are starting again the good thing is that if we are starting here at 54k where we are right now in the spot chart we would open the CMEs with a huge CME CME gap up to 62k and if we would go up to close that gap we would at the same time also close these two other gaps that we have here at 59 and 54 k which of course would be very nice if we are able then to go up to 62k and close all the gaps that we would have then and then of course continue our uptrend because here on the cme chart everything is still looking okay and we are potentially coming down to retest this uh, 58 to 59k support to then move on towards higher levels so here on the cmes we are still in an uptrend and we have to wait where we're gonna open up again on monday so as long as we we are not seeing this crash also in the CMEs and of course and also continue to drop lower. The move that we have seen in the last couple of hours is just weekend noise and we most likely gonna head towards our bullish targets between 70 to 100k in the not so distant future without dropping lower than where we are right now. But therefore let's go now to the spot chart. Let's go here to the bitstamp chart and we're gonna start in the weekly time frame because here I want to show you that this is the first time where we are trading below the nine weekly moving average since we had our parabolic rise up with the top that we have currently here at around 64k. 
So you can see that right now this is the first time that we are dropping below this moving average and the most important thing for this weekly close in the spot chart is that we are able to close above this nine weekly moving average. So if today we can close above $55,470 then I think we will head towards higher levels in the next coming weeks. But if we are closing below the nine weekly moving average, there is a very high chance that during this week we are coming down to test the 20 weekly moving average, which is currently at around 44K and which is also coinciding with the breakout target from this rising wedge. So this yellow lines here is a rising wedge, which usually is a bearish pattern. And if we are not able to go back into this wedge during this week, then this breakout that we are seeing right now is legit. And the breakout target is down here at around 44K. This is perfectly also coinciding with the 20 weekly moving average. The most important weekly moving average that Bitcoin has to hold during a bull market in order to bounce from it and go towards higher levels. So this is really the worst case scenario that we would drop down here towards the 44 K area and this is not only important because of the 20 weekly moving average and also because of the breakout target here but also because this is perfectly coinciding with the stock to flow model price level where we should be in right now so as you can see right now we were here at around 64k and we are correcting back down towards this blue line which is also currently at around $46,000 where most likely the 20 weekly moving average also will be next week because this 20 weekly moving average here at $43,000 is still the moving average from this week. So as soon as we're gonna start another week, this one will rise up and then most likely we will be at the same levels like the stock to flow model price. And that's why my friends take it as a good buy opportunity and long opportunity if you think that Bitcoin will go towards 100K and way higher levels because this is also what I am doing. I also still have my long opened here. As you can see, I am increasing currently my size of my long position. I am underwater, but since I'm very confident that Bitcoin will go towards our bullish targets in the next coming weeks, I'm keeping up my long position here on Bybit. Of course, I could have get a better entry with this dump, but since I was longing with every three hour buy signal here, my entry currently is at around 60K and I will add more into my position once we are getting another three hour buy signal. So the biggest mistake that I did with this trade is that I longed into a sell signal in the daily time frame. So usually the bigger time frame is always the more important. So this was my mistake that I ignored this sell signal in the daily time frame. And right now, of course, we are seeing this uh, major dump. And I think as soon as here we are getting a buy signal in the daily, then we should be out of the woods. But until then, there is a very high chance that we could even reach the target of 44k to also test the 20 weekly moving average so in the weekly time frame we are starting to look a bit concerning here and a test of 44k is in my opinion very likely but this doesn't change the trend of the weekly time frame. As you can see, we are still in an uptrend. We are still above the EMA ribbons. So we could even drop towards the bottom here of $30,000 and still remain in our uptrend. So the weekly time frame is still looking extremely bullish. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that here we are also starting to trade below the EMA ribbons in the daily time frame. So we have the chance now to go into a downtrend here in the daily time frame. If today Today we are not able to close above these $55,700. So in order to maintain our uptrend, we should at least have today the close above $55,700. Like that, we are closing above the nine weekly moving average and also above the bottom of the EMA ribbons here in the daily time frame. So we are in danger right now, but I think we are only in a confirmed dangerous zone if today we're gonna close the daily and weekly candle below this $55,700, then in my opinion, we will go back into this rising wedge and potentially even go up to retest the resistance up here of $70,000 and maybe even go higher. 
So this move that we are seeing during this week and in my opinion can be still a manipulated scam week to the downside to shake out all the weak hands and also liquidate and stop out high leveraged longs before we're gonna start the massive run up. But this would be only confirmed if during the weekend we are able to go back into this rising wedge and then start again with the traditional markets at around 62k. Because in that case, we just have seen this huge big week to the downside only during a couple of hours during the weekend when almost no one is trading. Then in my opinion, this could be a confirmed scam week to the downside before we continue towards higher levels. Because also keep in mind that the traditional markets especially Nasdaq on Friday closed with a new all-time high and Bitcoin during this weekend had a massive crash a bit more than 10% within just a couple of hours so let's hope that this was only a scam week and we will return to our uptrend during this coming week because otherwise the likelihood that we will drop even down towards 44k in my opinion is very likely and if this important support is getting lost then i'm watching the next potential target down here at the 200 daily moving average at 33,000 dollars so since I'm still very confident for Bitcoin that we will reach way higher levels than that and this was not a local top and of course not a cycle top at 64k for this bull run I'm still accumulating more Bitcoin and with every dip I am buying more and I'm also keeping up my long position and accumulate more into my long position because I'm very confident that this was not the top of our bull run and we will go towards higher levels and such bigger dumps are normal in Bitcoin. Bitcoin land my friends so such big moves even to the downside shouldn't make you nervous my friends because this is normal in Bitcoin land we don't have only big pumps to the upside and big candles towards new all-time highs we also have sometimes these bigger dumps so the sooner you're getting used to this big volatility the better it is and this is going out for all the newcomers that are new in the crypto space so if you are here already for a couple of years those movements should be normal for you and expected and you should always take it as a good buy and long opportunity whenever this happens of course right now we are in a very critical point because right now we have to decide if we're going to continue to drop lower towards our next big support levels or if we should head towards new all-time highs but if you're not sure what to do then just hodl and relax my friends and if we're gonna see a major drop then just buy more with fresh fiat because for the long term we are anyway going towards new higher levels so when we are getting this huge correction and these huge pullbacks take it always as a good buy opportunity especially when we are in this phase towards our new cycle top which is still far away from us so after the halving until we are reaching our absolute cycle top you should be trying to accumulate as much bitcoin as possible because at the end you will be sitting in huge profits no matter your entry price so in my opinion this move that we are seeing for now is just weekend noise and in my opinion as soon as the CMEs are starting again we will retrace towards 62k but if also on Monday as soon as the CMEs are starting to trade again we are remaining below $55,700 and start closing daily candles below the EMA ribbons and also close weekly candles below the 9 weekly moving average I think the next target will be down here at around 44k so this is what we're gonna have to see once we're starting the week again and in the lower time frames if we are going down to the 4 hour time frame you can see that after this move we had a huge huge wick to the downside and that usually signals that we are about to bottom here and after a little consolidation phase we most likely are coming back up again so since we are very oversold here and we could get very soon a buy signal in the four hour time frame i'm pretty confident that we will go at least again up here to retest this 59k area and then we're gonna see if we are confirming this as a new resistance then we're gonna see follow through to the downside and potentially go towards our target of 44k 
but if we are able to go immediately back up here and start to consolidate again above 59k so above our potential new resistance line here then i think this was just a fake out and this correction is over and we will head again towards higher levels so towards our bullish targets between 70 to 100k in the next coming weeks so don't freak out my friends when you're seeing such moves especially during the weekend in my opinion that's just noise and i would take it as a good buy and long opportunity and definitely never go and panic sell when you're seeing things like that i know it's hard to see when we are crashing that much especially in the altcoins bitcoin is still okay let's say 10 percent is still okay because if we go over into other altcoins sometimes you can see even bigger drops and that's why i always tell you my friends as soon as you're sitting in huge profits in altcoins always take profits into bitcoin or into some stable coins because the altcoins will crash a lot as soon as bitcoin is having a bigger correction so that's why sitting always in nice profits into bitcoin and stable coins makes you feel very much comfortable when we are seeing these huge corrections and then of course you can take advantage and go shopping when we have blood on the streets so of course when bitcoin is dropping also the altcoins are dropping but i still think it's not too bad also here ethereum is holding quite strong with its supports as you can see also here in the daily time frame we just came down to touch the bottom of the ema ribbons and right now we are seeing again a big week to the upside if today we can close above the 20 daily moving average so above 2100 dollars i'm very bullish here for ethereum also for these next coming up weeks and things would only start to look ugly here also if we are starting to close daily candles below the EMA ribbons so below two thousand dollars but everything is gonna be depending what bitcoin is doing and that's why in my opinion also in the bitcoin dominance we will get a bounce here pretty soon because i'm sure that a lot of money that right now is in altcoins will return back into bitcoin so i think here right at 52 percent where also the bottom of our descending broadening wedge was lining up we're gonna see a bounce in the bitcoin dominance and i think that it is very likely that we could even go up here again towards 60 percent in dominance because people maybe are afraid right now to sit into some alts and they will flee into some stable coins and of course also into bitcoin so that's why i'm expecting a bounce here in the bitcoin dominance and the altcoin season could be paused for now so the conclusion for this video my friends is that you shouldn't freak out and this breakout towards our bearish target of 44k is not yet confirmed it's going to be depending how we're going to close today's candle and of course also the weekly candle in the spot market and then also we're going to have to see what will happen with the cmes so far in the bigger picture we are still in an uptrend of course the lower time frames are looking extremely bearish right now but i wouldn't make big moves just because we are seeing a crash during the weekend wait until we're gonna get confirmations that we are potentially in a reversal here and we will head towards way lower levels so what we need right now are confirmations that we are potentially here topping out for now and we're gonna enter into a smaller bear market but as long as we are not confirming that we are potentially still in our uptrend and we should look towards new all-time highs pretty soon so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and if you want to trade bitcoin and other assets up to 100x over on bybit or femex make sure to use my referral links down below here because they give you some extra money if you sign up with my links and don't forget to take advantage of the pro plan over on bitscap for 14 days you can use their trading bots completely for free so definitely go and take advantage and also if you want a monthly plan it only costs 19 dollars per month so this is nothing compared to the profits that you can do thanks to these trading bots no matter where the price is going and also big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to take advantage of our great crypto trading chat make sure to join it by clicking the official link down below here in the description once you have clicked on the invitation link you go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot 
then you have free access to the trading chat and if you also want my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin then you have to send me a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to it otherwise just get a YouTube membership like this you also have free access to the indicator over on discord so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye